Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to look at gold, silver, British, uh, sorry, euro and then Canadian dollar and British pound. So we're going to look at these five different opportunities. If you are trading dollar index uh, basket currency that includes euro, Canadian dollar, British pound, Japanese yen, then it's a very special video for you and along in if you are also trading gold. So I mentioned a couple of uh, one special thing in a couple of weeks ago and it looks like things are heading that way. So first of all we are going to look at our gold analysis and see where the prices are heading and what's actually happening. Let me bring on to the daily chart and first of all as most of you are aware of it that I have been uh, calling bear, bear move and uh, my point here right now is that there is no way for us to find whether we are going to go all the way down uh, for example making a flat correction starting from this top wave A, wave B and wave C so I ended up de uh, zooming in and uh, I've decided to make all the trading decisions based on this particular data and I'm for now forgetting all this data and this data what happens after that we will find out later so to do that we are going to go on the daily chart and we can see that there is a trend line that's capping the uh, bottom uh, the price movement the bearish price movement so as long as prices stay below this trend line it's pretty uh, important that the prices are heading towards downside that is the gold is seems bearish it not only seems that I have done other analysis and which is uh, uh, behind the scenes analysis and all of it is actually indicating that gold is heading down. Let's have a look at uh, 4 hourly chart and I want to point out a couple of very important things. For those of you who missed this uh, trend line we can clear see, clearly see a breach of this trend line and this price have been very strong. So far lots of people were arguing that we have probably found a top on this top and this is giving an indication that probably we have seen we are going to go upward. That does not is the case. That is not the case. If you look at this price movement it does not look as an impulsive price movement. We have already seen some shorter uh, price movements one right over here there is another one right over here. Uh, this one although seemed out to be a fake price movement because we saw a new uh, extreme high but it looks like that we are going to go down from right now. So starting from that top, starting from that top I'm considering this as wave 1, I'm considering this as wave 2, this as wave 3 and right now we have wave A of the flat correction, wave B of the flat correction, wave C of the flat correction and this makes it wave 4. Just because we have wave 1, 2, 3 and 4 finished does not mean that all of a sudden we'll have some little price movement left and that's it up, we are done. Uh, if we zoom out and we do it on a daily time frame we can see that neither one or neither three are clearly subdivisible uh, on that particular time frame. That's giving us an indication that five needs to be strong, it needs to be clearly subdivisible and that's what exactly I'm forecasting um, and uh, here it is. So I'm forecasting that we are going to see price wave 1 right over here, wave 1 of 5, wave 2 of 5 right over here, wave 3 of 5, wave 4 of 5 and wave 5 of 5. There are different reasons uh, for the strength in the bearish trend reason because we have already seen uh, one price movement right over here and then extra time when prices came it was much stronger as compared to the previous, uh, previous bearish price movement. So I'm considering this time when prices fall this is going to be even stronger as compared to this one. So that's what giving me all, I'm combining all that to bring me the concept that the prices are going to be sh strongly bearish. Let's have a look on a 15 minute chart to actually see what's happening. So I have considered this as price as wave 1 so far now and this whole correction as wave 2. And then we did the similar thing right over here with the previous price movement. It did not go up, and I, I did put a warning that there's a possibility that possibility that we might see prices going up. That actually happened, and that's why I'm really, really against against the uh, intraday trading. So if you want to put your stop loss, put side right, right over here. Although it seems that we have completed most of the side movement already, so let's get back to 15 minute chart. I'm seeing this price movement as wave one of 1 or 5 this is wave 2 I believe we have already completed or maybe a small portion is already left 
I'm using the fab energy tool or the equal uh, divisions of 100% tool right over here so we can see that the price have found some resistance right exactly at 75 percent and also I have tried to combine the uh, top of wave C with the top of wave 2 right over here this trend line and we can see that once again that this is a, a similar portion that we have seen right over here but as I said the prices went beyond this time we have seen a similar pattern it looks like that we have already seen wave 1 and 2 and then we are going to wave C, C wave 3 right over here and then wave 4 and then wave 5 this is what I am seeing right now after that is complete we are heading to wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 further down let's have a look at silver and we can see that silver is actually more strongly bearish it was able to actually clearly come down make a correction and it's heading further down right and then it looks like that silver is heading down towards this bearish the the target for silver at least is 2185 2180 2185 this is the initial target for silver and then we'll have to revise our um, target area once again if some of you guys are wondering what's this this is these are actually WD GAN angles I did some research on silver and I put these angles and it looks like that our price movement in silver is going to respect this so I'm bearish on silver if you want to put to your stop loss I believe that a good point will be right over here if you are following if you're watching this video then by no means I am clearly telling you that I'm not a financial analyst I'm not a financial advisor as well so what I'm putting out here is completely educational purpose. I want you to please do your own research if you are doing that, uh, if you're doing, uh, going to use this analysis. So do your own uh, research and then probably use, use it as a, an educational tool. Let's have a look at uh, Joro. Now it's going to be very fun part right over here. In one of my previous videos I clearly stated that it looks like that we are going to see some divergence happening in Euro and in in gold market right now so we did see initially prices falling down on a and then we did see good price movement that it did happen and it looks like that we are going to see we have already seen the bearish price movement downward and it looks like that we are going to see this price movement on a time frame right now. and our upward target is 1.254 euro you can also use it on a daily time frame and a good uh, point if the prices actually go beyond the this starting point right over here that will give us an indication something else is happening so right now I'm considering this as simply the zigzag pattern we have already completed a 5F structure a correction and another 5F structure is expected to be completed so this is what I'm expecting in Euro and we are expecting a similar behavior or similar pattern occurring in Canadian dollar actually British pound and we are seeing a little different thing in Canadian dollar so in Canadian dollar first of all I'm expecting that we are going to see strong price movement downward giving us an indication also that if some of you guys are uh, interested in Canadian dollar then it looks like that Canadian dollar is going to be strengthening and this is what we are going to see in the next few days it how deep it is we are not sure it could actually come right over here in this region as well so for now we don't have a target so what we are going to do we are going to use the previous mm, the previous levels of support right over here so we're going to keep an eye on the price movement as soon as they get in this region right over here so there's a possibility that they might reflect off the top or they might actually come out and stay in the center so th by the main thing is this whole area seems very important as far as the target is concerned and uh, right now I'm looking that the price is, is going to be a very good healthy swing in the price of Canadian dollar that you're going to see downward price movement let's have a look at British pound and in one of my previous videos we drew one of the support line it looks like that prices are actually reflecting this whole horizontal support is also coming in action once again and I'm seeing some sort of this behavior I'm also seeing mm, I'm seeing some sort of this behavior that the price is gonna go create uh, the double top with previous high and this is a previous high this red line seems a previous high 
let me delete that and put a clear line mm, okay let's see if we can put it there you go so I'm expecting that we already completed a 5F structure correction and further we have one this is what I'm seeing in British pound this is exactly the same behavior that I'm seeing in Canadian dollar and euro once again at this point if you are trading gold and silver along with euro then it looks like they are going to diverge uh, and this is what the patterns and the price action is telling wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye